Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about how to use a semi-automatic washing machine. Make sure you put your clothes in half full in the tub. Make sure you have that solid green circle side. Yep, solid green. That is the wash cycle. Then you're gonna fill it up with water. Just half the tub with water, okay? With the tap water. I'm currently in Costa Rica using a semi-automatic washing machine. So you're gonna make sure it's halfway. It's gonna take a couple minutes. And then you can just come back when it's halfway full. Oh, made a mistake. Make sure you have it on the L. You see that? If it's on the S, that means it's draining. You don't want it to drain while you're trying to fill it up. All right, so I'm smashing it, making sure that it's covered with water. And then when it's done, of course you want to go back to the faucet and turn it off. Now it's time to do the fun stuff, putting the soap in. So I'm gonna do the soap. Yep, so this is the first part. This is like the wash cycle. All right, my lovely husband's helping me film this video. All right, and then you wanna make sure you can choose normal or you can choose strong. I wanted to choose strong that day for the wash cycle. You can choose three, six, nine, 12, or 15. I chose 15 minutes for my wash cycle. So then you can go ahead and do whatever you want for 15 minutes, let it wash. And then you're of course gonna have to come back to the washer <laughs> once it's done. And then you're gonna want to drain it, okay? So you see, I'm gonna put it to the S. That means drain. I know I'm not saying the words in Spanish. I just don't feel comf confident speaking in Spanish, you guys. Anyway, so I'm letting it drain. It does look kind of gross, in my opinion. I'm letting the water drain. It's already done. Now make sure you put it back to L. So we're gonna go to the rinse cycle. That's the one with the E, okay? And then you're gonna fill it up again with water, halfway. This is the rinse cycle. So you already did the wash cycle. Now you're just repeating it again to do the rinse cycle. So now it is halfway full with water and you can stop the water because it's done. <laughs> it's done filling up anyway. We're not done washing the clothes yet. And then you can use your hands. I use my hands to kind of smash it in just to make sure there's enough water in the tub. And then I basically do 15 minutes again. So that's going to be your rinse cycle. And then you can come back. And then the clothes are rinsed. Kind of looks kind of, you know, weird, a little gross. Then you want to drain it again because you're done with your rinse cycle. So you're draining it. So once it's done draining, okay, pay attention to this. You're going to go to the spin cycle next. So you want to go back to that, you know, solid green circle and go to the one that is not solid green. That's the spin cycle. All right, so you're gonna open up the tub. It kind of reminds me of things at the gym back in the States to like dry your, your swimsuit. It's exactly the same thing. So make sure you squeeze out the excess water. Only fill that tub halfway and make sure clothes dry faster in the future. Trust me on this. So it took me about three cycles to do this because I had more clothes than half the tub. And then you can do up to five minutes, let it spin, and your clothes are done. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.